Is US singer Taylor Swift endorsing Donald Trump? Is US presidential candidate Kamala Harris speaking at a communist event? Well, both pictures were created with AI. Both pictures convey a message that is untrue and both were shared by Donald Trump, the other US presidential candidate. The Taylor endorsement won on his account on Truth, the Harris picture on X, formerly known as Twitter. Is that legal? ethically acceptable and is using AI to create misleading pictures the new way to campaign? US Republican candidate Donald Trump is not the first politician to paint a negative picture of an opponent with the help of AI. With this AI-generated post on X, Argentinian President Javier Milei framed his political adversary Sergio Massa as a communist in 2023. Massa's supporters, on the other hand, didn't shy away from using AI either, displaying him in heroic poses. As election campaigns now largely take place on social media, posts like these are not being controlled or checked by a publisher. This would be the case with a newspaper. In the US, Kamala Harris's campaign is trying to reach a young audience with meme-worthy content. But so far they haven't shared any AI content comparable to Trump's posts. They have been falsely accused of doing so, though. On Truth Social, Trump shared a post that claimed Harris had faked the size of a crowd at one of her rallies. Truth is, Trump himself seems to be the one using the technology much more. He shared AI images of a fake Swifties for Trump campaign, for example. This was to make fun of the actual Swifties for Kamala initiative, which has Taylor Swift fans campaigning on X for the presidential candidate. Only a very small label saying satire indicated that the pictures weren't real. AI seems to be omnipresent in many political campaigns, but is this legal? Well, there are no international rules governing the production and distribution of AI content and deepfakes. Platforms like Facebook and Instagram are developing technology to automatically label AI content, but their efforts haven't been very effective so far. This leaves the issue to local guidelines. In the US, only about 20 states have enacted regulations on the use of AI-generated false images in elections. However, legal experts doubt that these rules would even apply to the Trump posts mentioned before. Typically, these laws only ban depictions of someone doing or saying something in a convincing way. So what about the AI images of Swift and Harris? Well, lawmakers would likely argue that they don't look realistic enough to be covered by existing regulations. The Harris image is obviously exaggerated and the Swift image doesn't directly depict an opposing candidate. Moreover, to take legal action against political AI posts in the US, it would need to be proven in court that they caused harm or injury to voters. Taylor Swift herself might have a claim though, because her likeness was used in a post that falsely issues an endorsement. However, it remains to be seen if the singer will take legal steps. There is one application of AI during elections that is explicitly forbidden in the US, so-called robocalls. In these, potential voters are contacted by phone or video call. Then, AI fabricated audio or video of a politician is used to ask for their support. But again, this is only illegal in the US. During India's election period this year, robocalls were used on a massive scale, with many people potentially unaware of interacting with an AI clone. What does that mean for the future? You could argue that drastic tactics have always been used in election campaigns, especially when it comes to portraying political opponents in a negative light. But AI tools can produce tons of images much faster than human illustrators. And these images can easily be used strategically to create heated discussions online and distract from important political issues. What's more, AI generates imagery that looks deceivingly real. Which means, generally, we must doubt everything we see online first, if we don't want to fall for fake news. I think it's a huge challenge for societies when people can't trust what they see and hear anymore. What's your opinion on this? Do we need strict rules for the use of generative AI, especially in a political context, or would that restrict freedom of expression? Let us know.